Coach, you weren't down 21 like at West Virginia, but still down seven with two minutes left. I think shut them out from that point on. Uh, just another great finish for you guys. Yeah, you got to give our guys credit, and we were fortunate they missed some free throws, but we took advantage of it and made the plays. We talked about hanging in there defensively. They made some tough shots, took that lead. I thought we first half we were pretty good offensively, moved the basketball, uh, found the open man red red when they screwed up on defense. Second half maybe it got a little sticky in our hands and. And, uh, and we had some, we still had some nice passes down low and they swiped it from us and, and we just didn't finish some of those plays. And, but, uh, you know, we just, you got to give our guys credit. You know, Dean, for not, for practicing two days, uh, you know, he still has no rhythm, he has no conditioning, uh, but he gets nine rebounds for us, makes a big bucket down the stretch. Uh, Xavier guarding Chiak, that's his low for the year, I, be, I believe. I didn't think he had anything under 14. Xavier did a great job. Our defense was really good overall. They got that little stretch of threes that, uh, you know, got them back in the game and then took the lead. And then, obviously, you get Barry made some big, big plays, uh, the winning bucket, but another play right before that that, that made a difference. So it's a, it's a good win. I don't know which one's better. I just told them, I put it on the board, beat a team of the week in the Big 12. And that meant you have to win. And if that happened, obviously, Barry's got to beat a player of the week in the Big 12. Uh, two game winners, but uh, you know it, this league is so unforgiving. You know Steve's guys are—he's done an unbelievable job with them. He's got you know injuries. He's got all the different things they've gone through, and got some young guys, new guys, and they—they—they they, they really play at a high level. Um, but that league kind of shows you. Last week they're two and zero, now they're two and two. So you got to be very, very persistent, resilient, get mature, get ready for the, the next game. For us, that's at Oklahoma on Wednesday. Barry, coach just kind of mentioned it right there. It's now back-to-back -back game winners. Uh, are you taking on this put-the-team-on-your-back type of mentality right now? I mean, I just try to make the plays when um, when, it, when the opportunity presents itself. My coaches and my teammates kind of believed in me, um, knowing that if it came down to the wire uh, like it did, they call it like a double butt, which is a double uh, double screen, uh, guarding a big. And so, um, like I said, they believed in me to uh, come down and make the play. Barry, how much confidence would you say you're just playing with right now after these last two games? I mean, I'm playing with good confidence, man. You know, especially myself and my teammates and uh, what we've done in the gym. Uh, I feel like everyone, uh, even if they miss a couple shots, they're going to make the next one. And so I feel like we all, we all have that, that, that good supreme confidence that we need um, to win basketball games. Ian, how did your foot hold up today? And what was it like being back out there? Uh, you know, it felt good. <clears throat> a little out of rhythm. Um, but, you know, overall felt good. Um, Great team win, so it makes it even better. Bruce, the, that first half, obviously, you guys were hitting everything, and that's kind of a, a bit of a flip of the script for you guys because you kind of struggle usually to get the offense going. What do you think, though, happened in the second half because the shots kind of dried up there? Well, you know, I think they picked it up defensively. I thought, as I said, I thought we got a little sticky fingers and held the ball, didn't get it moving, didn't get the cutting. Um, you know, I think Cam took a couple quick ones. I even thought Barry, I, I think one of the best things Barry did in the first half, he allowed the game, other guys were getting open. He's only shot four times at halftime. You know, so he had let the game come, and that that's what we, and he has four assists, one turnover at halftime, three assists. Now, we, you know, go to got time, we got to go to him. But, you know, we, we also got to be smart about, you know, letting the game come. We got a lot of weapons. I heard Steve talk about last week, he's got five guys that can get 20 on a given night. And, and I think we have that also. We've, we've shown that. We are, all, of the, all of our guys have done that. Um, so that, you know, it, you know so we got to keep moving the basketball, keep moving bodies, keep moving the basketball, keep it flowing. Uh, finished in transition. I didn't think we did that very well. And I got to give kudos to Cartier. And I didn't play him a second half the other night. Um, I don't think he was very happy, but you know, you got to man up. And he manned up. And the other night it was Mike that stepped up off the bench. This time Cartier was huge. And, you know, eight points, three offensive rebounds, made, got some extra possessions for us, did a great job. So we got, it was a good, good team win. For maybe Dean and then coach, you did get a hoop late against Condit. Um, if they had left him in, would you have gone after that more, you think, in the last couple of minutes or just gone to Barry probably probably anyway? Well, we had talked about going to him again. You know, we actually, till they subbed him, we had talked about a clear out for him. And then when that happened, then I think we did uh, one of our ball uh, handoff plays where Barry gets on the run and he was able to get downhill. He had a couple layups. Dean had a layup. And then obviously the, the game winner at the end. 
and then Dean, you know, we've already talked about it, but how relieved are you? This you didn't miss a whole bunch of games to be back already. Uh, you know, it feels good. You know, um, you know, I didn't do a whole lot uh, offensively, but you know, I think defensive. Uh, you know, I was just trying to be loud, talk, communicate, um, keep everyone positive, and uh, even when they made their runs, you know, I was just trying to stay positive for the whole thing, and uh, you know, just help them any way I could. I knew I was going to be a little rusty um, offensively, but. Uh, you know, I always can bring energy to the game, no matter what happens. So, uh, you know, that was my main focus, you know. And I'm, I'm happy that, uh, well, fortunately, I didn't miss it too many games. Um, and I can be back and uh, fighting with my the team again. So, Dean, do you feel back at full strength now? Uh, yeah. Coach, was, was, it an, was it an easy choice to go with him today? No, and we just, I let it totally up to him. Uh, you know, Luke has done a good job. We con continue to communicate with his parents. With Dean, I keep telling him he's got to be truthful, and and we still. I hope we're over the hump, but you know we just got to hope and pray tomorrow that that it feels okay. We I, we maybe pushed it a little too much. I, we were trying to stay under 20. We talked about somewhere eight to ten each half. Um, obviously, it came down to the end, and we said if we were in the game, we would. We went back with him, um, you know, to you know help us find a way to win, and he got a big bucket down the stretch. But uh, you know he he. It's not like riding a bike where you can just jump on and ride it. You, you know, he didn't, he didn't do anything basketball-wise for three weeks. So it's just been about a week of workouts and getting going. And, um, you know, you can just see, you know, Wigginton, the same thing. He just doesn't have quite – I thought he was a little more pop tonight, but he just doesn't have quite the rhythm and that. And that, that'll take Dean, Dean a little time. And, and, Dean, from your perspective, just what's been clicking for Barry the last two games? It seems like he's been extremely effective at the rim. Um, you know, I think um, his confidence and aggression in himself, I mean, is, is, is bar none. You know, it's, it, no one can really, I don't think anybody in the country can stay in front of him. Um, and then, you know, you had all the other weapons that we have, X, Cardi, um, Cam, Mac, all those guys. I mean, it's, it's hard to, you know, just control one person. And um, especially when we have weapons like that, you know, Barry makes the right decision um, and passes it. I mean, it's, it's a three or something. So, I mean, I think it's hard for defenses to really key in on one person on our team. And I think, uh, you know, let, let's Barry just be aggressive and attack uh, the whole game. And I think um, tonight was a perfect example for that, of that. Barry, you guys started 0 and 2 in the Big 12, and now you're 2 and 2, and it seems like you guys are clicking. Uh, how good does it feel to get off of that 0 and 2 start, and then how do you keep this rolling now? I mean, it's good. It's always good to uh, to get some wins. And I mean, like Coach said, we just got to be mature. We gotta we gotta um, understand that this league is is not going. Uh, look at you and say, "Oh, you won two games. You're gonna win a, win a third. They're gonna come out and try and beat you, just like uh, just like you were 0 to. And so um, we just have to be mature, get in the gym. I mean, we won this last game uh, by what we did after the game against West Virginia. Really, we we came in. Everyone was watching film. Everyone was shooting, getting up shots uh, two and three days before. And so um, in the first half, I, th I think that kind of paid off. We were able to make make some big time shots. And then um, so right now, I, I think it's just a, a matter of. Uh, being mature, uh, enjoying, enjoying the win for the night, and then getting ready for Oklahoma.